verse 23, so he said to them, why do you do such things? For I hear, now this is their dad talking to them as grown men, for I hear of your evil dealings with all the people. Know my sons, for it is not a, not a good report that I hear. You make the Lord's people transgress. Trans, transgress. If one man sins against another, God will judge him. But if a man sins against the Lord, who will intercede for him? Nevertheless, they did not heed the voice of their father because the Lord desired to kill them. What? Wow, there's, there's a lot in that verse, huh? If I sin against man through unrighteousness, I can go to God and he can intercede on my behalf when I repent and confess and say, Lord, forgive me, I'm sorry. And God can make that right. But when I sin against God in ungodliness and I'm resisting the drawing of God, the wooing of God, the conviction of God that should drive me to his feet and I hold it back and I continue to push it back as did these two sons of Eli. As their dad Eli is telling them, where are you going to go? Who's going to intercede on your behalf? You're resisting God over your lifetime. And if you resist God over your lifetime, you've committed the only sin that will not allow you to go to heaven. The blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Is God faithful to do his job? God's always going to be faithful to do his job. He's always going to woo us. He's always going to just draw us close to him. Right? But if we resist that over our lifetime, who can intervene? Where's the sacrifice? We've rejected it. We didn't respond to the drawing. We didn't respond to the wooing. And oftentimes I think, we think, well, well not right now. I mean, I'm going to get to this. I'm, I'm going to, I mean, I know God's calling me, but uh, not right now. Maybe later. And God wants us to know that that's dangerous ground to walk on. Because like these two sons, what if we reach that place of no, re no return, the point of no return? When it says that God desired to kill them, God was going to confirm what they wanted. God was not going to no longer force. He never did force, but he, he's not going to force himself upon them. God is faithful to woo, to draw, to love, to bring, to point out, to shine light on our darkness, to expose it, to let us see it over and over and over again. And he does that patiently and he does that long sufferingly. But as we continue to resist, there comes a point where God says, I will give you that which you want. And I've seen him do it with Christians. And I've experienced it myself. If you continue to resist, God will say, okay, I'm going to give you what you want. And it's going to be like throw up coming out of your nostrils. You're going to see it will not satisfy you. You're insisting on this so much. I'm going to let you have it. Not because I don't love you, but because I love you so much, I'm going to let you see it's not what you think. You're looking for that which will fulfill in the temporal. You're exchanging the creation for the creator. You're not looking to me because I'm the one that will fulfill and satisfy you. I'm going to let you have it for a season. Here, it's gone too far.